Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Live party. It's Monday through Friday, which means I am here live with you. If you are catching the replay, please say hello below. It is so good to see you here. Thank you for catching these recordings, even when it is not live anymore. And um, I'm like kind of tilted today. <laughs> We're just gonna have to go with the flow, okay? So, hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna warn you. My voice is a little tired. I've been on calls since three o'clock and then I just finished recording a video for Inside the Bad Bitch Lounge, which is a bonus for my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. <sighs> so my voice is a little tired. Hello, Erica. So good to see you. Hello, 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 girlfriend. How are you? So I want to share today about this topic because I'm super passionate about it and I'm super excited about it right now. And I kind of just filmed a whole video on it, but I wanted to give you guys like a little gist of it, okay? And that is really being clear about what is your superpower that allows you, allows you, excuse me, to show up effortlessly online. Hello, Michelle. Hello, hello, welcome. How are you guys today, by the way? I didn't even say hi. How are you? What's going on? What's new in your world? Um, so this is your superpower, okay? And this is something that you don't have to buy. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to prove it. This is simply your superpower. Hello, Megan. So good to see you. Hello, Allie. Hello, hello. So good to see you guys. So here's the deal. Your superpower, you guys, and this is going to sound so cliche, so stay with me. Your superpower is you. It's you showing up as you. Right? When you look at truly who you are at your core and you really start to, to uncover and to tap into who you are and what your values are and what you believe to be true and what you're passionate about and what you love and what lights you up, what gets you excited, um, what pisses you off, what drives you crazy, what makes you tick, what are these pieces of you that are you, these personality traits, these qualities, these things that maybe in your life are things that people have dimmed down. Things that people have said like, oh, don't do that, that's too much, or oh, just be a little bit more of that, that's too little, right? We have this constant feeling of never being enough or being too much. Hello, Carolyn, hello, Katie, so good to see you guys. So when you start to tap into truly who you are, right? And that's who you are at your core, not who society tells you to be, who you were conditioned to believe you should be based on how you were raised or based on what you've learned or what you've read. Not trying to just be like somebody else, not trying to replicate what everyone else is doing. Hello, Cheryl. So good to see you here. Welcome. You know, not trying to replicate or duplicate what another online influencer or online coach is doing, but really at your very core, tapping into who you are, and the pieces of you that have been dimmed for so long, that is your superpower. That is what allows you to show up effortlessly online because you don't have to fake it, right? I've been in online businesses now for four years. I've built many different businesses. I've loved it. I've shifted. I've evolved. I've upgraded. I've revamped. I've pivoted. I've done all the things. Hello, Chelsea. Hello, Craig. I've done all the things, right? And I'm sure you have as well. But when you can show up simply as who you are and you don't have to put a mask on and you don't have to fake it and you don't have to put a filter on, but you are just you, that is your superpower. That is what sets you apart. That is what draws in your ideal clients because you're not faking it till you make it, which I think is bullshit, by the way. You're not faking it till you make it. You're not just trying to be someone else or trying to replicate Mindy or Snashana or, you know, Michelle or whoever it might be. You're not trying to replicate these other incredible powerhouse women. You are you. That's the superpower, right? Hi, Emily. So good to see you. So good. Okay. P.S. Is my singing, side note, is my singing in these videos what is causing Facebook to delete them? You guys, I went back today to go tag someone. Allie, it was actually you. I went to go tag you in a video you had talked about um, how do I find more friends or how do I find more um, people like you guys. And I went to go tag you in this video and it's gone. It's a video I created about how to find community and connection in real life and Facebook just freaking deleted it. And I'm like, is it because I'm like singing and so it thinks it's music? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I can't imagine that would be. Hi, Krista, welcome. So anyway, basically, side note. So if you have wanted to go back and rewatch a video or you think I've failed on my challenge, I've been going live every single day. Well, the last two weeks it's been Monday through Friday, but before that I was going live every single day and Facebook has deleted a good handful of my videos and I have no idea why. So here's the truth of it. Here is the powerful piece, right? Let's wrap her up. And if you guys have questions on this, please let me know. Yeah, Michelle, it's like, what the hell? WTF, like Facebook. 
my peeps need to see what I've been talking about and what you guys have been asking about. But the superpower here is simply you being you. Does that give you like a sense of freedom or a sense of peace or a sense of ease, right? When you realize that you can have whatever it is that you want in life, in business, in whatever, simply by being you, you've changed the game. Everything becomes more effortless. Everything becomes easier. Now, yes, you still have to work hard. You still have to do the damn thing, okay? Hi, Jesse. Hi, Kayla. But at the same time, when you are you and you get paid for that, it all becomes easier because you don't have to fake it. You don't have to pretend. You don't have to force and grit through it. You don't have to just push, push, push and hope that people get you and hope that people understand. You just show up in all of your glory in exactly who you are in this exact moment. Hello, Kelly. And you just let that shine through. And that is what your soulmate clients are attracted to and drawn to and like magnetized to is you, those pieces of you that are buried so deep within, right? Like I've talked about this before in posts where I used to get in so much trouble for talking all of the damn time, for being loud, for having a strong opinion, for speaking every thought that was on my mind. And now I get to share with the world what's going on inside of me because I've embraced that piece of me. It actually makes me a very confident speaker. It actually makes it so that I am able to touch and impact and serve in such an incredible way because I've embraced that piece of me. But when I used to fake it, and I would put this mask on or this filter on, hi, Stephanie, oh my God, I miss you. Hey, boo-boo, hey, girlfriend, hey. When I used to put this filter on and not be that person and tried to be shy or reserved or timid or didn't speak up, I wasn't getting anywhere because I was being someone that I wasn't. So online, in the last four years, as I've transitioned and I've started to own my flaws, own the pieces of me that have been dimmed down, that have been quiet, and started to own the pieces of me that I was embarrassed about or that I was ashamed of, started to own the pieces of me that made me me, it's all, it's been this like flood of abundance and flood of ease and effortlessness and peace. And it makes me excited to show up in social media again. Because it's not about me having to try so hard. It's me simply being me and sharing my truth. Is that making sense? Is that resonating for you guys? Do you ever feel this like need to please or this need to be someone that you're not or this need to duplicate or replicate what everyone else is doing? Because the magic happens when you are yourself and that's what sets you apart from everybody else as well. That is what your clients are drawn to. So maybe think about it. Is there a piece of you that you've been hiding or that you've been dimming or that you've been you know, putting to bed because you've felt for so long like, oh, well, this isn't how other coaches are. What are those pieces of you? And how can you let those shine? Have you been trying, right? I see this happen a lot. Maybe you are a shy and timid. Hi, Samantha. Hello, hello, girlfriend. Is there, maybe you're shy and you're timid and you're this person that's more reserved in real life. You're more introverted and you're like forcing yourself to get on my video and be like, hey, oh my God, hey, God. And you're like super bubbly, right? Maybe you're trying to be me because that's just who I am is very bubbly and a little bit obnoxious, a little over the top, a little dramatic. It, it, I've embraced it now. We can admit it. It's fine. <laughs> but are you pretending to be bubbly and it's actually exhausting you? And it's actually causing you to almost resent your work. Not because you don't love it, because you do, but you're like, oh my God, I don't want to get on social media right now. Like I just don't have it in me. So really start to try to really tap back into who you are and let that shine through. I know a lot of introverted quieter, more timid coaches who don't fake it till they make it. They embrace that part of them and I love them. I might not be their soulmate client because I'm a little bit more ah, out there, but like I'm, I look at them and I'm like, wow, that's so fascinating. That's so amazing how you're able to build this incredible business and you're complete opposite of me, right? We can all thrive. We can all be successful. We can all be ourselves and make a lot of money and have the life that we want and work with the people we want to work with and travel the world if we want to or whatever it is that you want, whatever your idea of success is. Okay. It's not always a lot of money and a lot of clients. It might be very different than mine. Um, and mine isn't just clients and money. That's just an example here. There's so much more to it than that, but it's really about you're able to make the impact that you feel called to make when you are simply yourself because you have been given your qualities and your strengths and your weaknesses and your passions and your purpose and your potential is all given to you for a reason, very specifically for you to live out the life you're meant to live, for you to impact in the way you're meant to impact, for you to speak in the way that you are meant to speak just by being yourself.
Hello, Amy. So good to see you. Girlfriend, P.S. Your post earlier, freaking on point. It was so good. Hello, Kelly. Hello, welcome, welcome. If you guys were not on earlier, which you weren't because you're just here now. Um, I was saying that I think because I'm singing, Facebook is taking my videos down. I have no idea why. But like a bunch of my live videos have been deleted for no freaking reason. So don't think I failed you on my challenge because I'm still here. But let me know if this is resonating. What did Michelle say up here? i always trying to be more like other coaches such as you and Autumn because I admire you both so much. Yeah, and here's the thing. Like, Michelle, I freaking love you. I freaking think you're incredible. Amy, I think you're freaking incredible. Emily, I think you are freaking badass. Kelly, I'm obsessed with you. I love you guys. Stephanie, love you. So Shauna, I love seeing you on here. It makes me so freaking happy. Whoever is here still, I freaking adore you, okay? But we are all different human beings. We are all different types of entrepreneurs, different types of coaches that are able to serve in the way that we have been called to serve because we are who we are. And we don't have to fake it or replicate or duplicate or try to be someone that we're not because that's just exhausting and that is what leads to burnout and overwhelm and exhaustion because you're putting this, it's almost like putting your uniform on every day and you're trying to like just grit your teeth and just like, God, I just gotta suck it up and I just gotta do it versus like how can I show up today in a way that excites me and ignites me and I'm like freaking pumped about because I just get to get paid and serve and make an impact in a way that actually feels good to me because this is who I am, right? No masks, no filters, just you. If I met you in person, I damn well better get the same exact vibe as I do online. That is what those top coaches, that is what those people that are in living the life that you want to live, that's what they're doing. Stephanie says, be you equals being free. Yes, A freaking man. Take the shackles off of trying to be someone that you're not and just be free in who you are and know that your ideal clients will love that. They will be attracted to that. They will like just be magnetized to that. And you're going to repel certain people. There are certain people that cannot stand me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There are people that cannot stand me and that's okay. I can love them from afar. I can send them good love. I can send them good vibes. There's someone else out there for them. But I've been able to, especially in the last couple months, be able to attract my soulmate clients because I have stepped into who I am and you guys are drawn to that, right? And that's what I want for you as well, is for it to be effortless, for it to be of ease. And yes, there's hard work involved. Yes, there's consistency involved. Hello, Samantha. I show up every day on Facebook Live, even when my throat hurts, even when I'm exhausted, even when I'm tired, I'm being consistent, I'm honoring my integrity, I'm honoring my word, but I'm just showing up as me. Like, I don't have even have any notes right now for this live. I just was like, oh my God, I need to go live. What did I just talk on on a video? I'm gonna go live about some pieces of that and share it with you. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm sharing because this is me. And I actually had someone, I was at a party on Friday night at our apartment complex. We had a party, there was like a DJ and catering. It was so much fun. We danced all night, it was amazing. And one of the girls actually said, her name's Raleigh, and she was like, you're literally the same person online as you are in real life. Like, that's so freaking cool. Like, I, I haven't met someone like that before. And there's been times where I've gone to events and I've met someone and I'm like, oh, like I got a totally different vibe from you online. And then in person, I've got this like weird vibe. Like I felt very off about this, right? And I just can't imagine how exhausting it is for them to show up online every day as someone that they're not and faking it till they make it and trying to appeal to the masses, that's exhausting. Freedom lies in you being yourself and you embracing the superpower that is you of tuning in and asking yourself, who am I? What am I passionate about? What do I love? What am I excited about? What pisses me off? What lights me up? Whatever it might be, these questions, what are my values? What is my vision, right? Who am I? What do I want people to feel when they experience me, when they work with me, when they talk with me, when they connect with me? What do I want them to feel? What vibe do I want to be there? And really making sure that it's in alignment with who you are, right? So that's what I have for you guys today. That's what I have. I, you guys, you know what I've learned, come to learn? Let me, let me let you in on a secret. You know what I've come to learn? I never know how to freaking end Facebook Lives. <laughs> I never know. It's like the longest, most awkward Minnesota goodbye. If you're from the, the Midwest, you know the Minnesota goodbye is like when you stand at the front door and you say goodbye for like 30 minutes when you meant to leave 30 minutes ago and you're like awkwardly hugging again for like the fifth time and you're like, okay, but I really got to go. But then you start talking about something else and like I never know what to say. I will tell you 
The mastermind that starts on August 1st that I announced yesterday, the Untamed Upgrade Mastermind, which if any of this is speaking to you, you better freaking believe we're going to be talking about this more in the mastermind and really tapping into this together because untaming yourself, letting the inner wild goddess that wants to color outside the lines, that's what we're going to be talking about in there. And this is exactly what I'm talking about is embracing who you are and letting her out, letting her live out loud. The mastermind is almost halfway sold out. Early bird pricing ends on Sunday. So we have tonight, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday night. Early bird pricing is over. It's $8.88 for the eight weeks. Different payment plans available through Sunday night. And then it goes up to $9.99. So if you do want to get in on the lower price, definitely message me. It is almost halfway sold out. Do not wait. Jump. Do the damn thing if you are feeling called. And if you're not, I freaking love you. And I'll see you guys on another Facebook Live tomorrow. Um, I am just here to hold space for whoever is ready to go this way. Emily says I do the same thing. Yeah, it must be an Australian thing too. Like, goodbye. <laughs> I don't know how to end this. Hi, Nicole. So, you guys, remember, the superpower is that you are you. Every bit of you, you embrace it. Because that is what draws people in. That is what allows you to take the mask off, take the filter off, and it's effortless for you to show up because all you're doing is showing up as yourself and you can't fake that. This is who I am. You take it or leave it. You love it. You hate it. It doesn't matter to me. That's not up for me to decide. That's not up for me to decide. It's up for the other person, for your soulmate client, for the people watching, for the people inter interacting and engaging and connecting with you. It's up to them to decide whether they like you or don't or whether they hate you or love you, whatever it might be. It's not up for you to decide. You don't have to control the outcome. Let go and just be you and watch whoever you want, whatever you want, be magnetized to you because you're just showing up as yourself. At this point, I'm beating a dead horse. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here as always. I will be on another Facebook Live tomorrow. And like I said already, if you've been going back to catch the replays, you might have noticed Facebook is being a little bit of a bitch and deleting my videos for no freaking reason. I have no idea what's happening. I'm looking to hire someone. If you guys, this is like a side note, if you guys do know someone who is like a college student or someone who's looking to make a little extra side cash, I'm looking for someone who can take my live videos, like download them, cut the parts out that are just me like responding to comments and such, and then putting them on my YouTube channel so that they can live on and then Facebook won't just delete them randomly. So if you know someone like that, send them my way. I would much rather take a recommendation um, or someone that I've already connected with here than like randomly post in a Facebook group and like cross my fingers and hope I can find someone trustworthy. You know, you feel me? So I love you, love you, love you. Have the most incredible night. Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday. Sending you so much love and I will see you guys back tomorrow for another Facebook Live. But until then, go be you. <laughs> Cheesy, but it's true. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.